Welcome back everyone. Okay, this video is not a particularly long one. Just finishing up getting the Titan Aero uh, sorted out. So getting the motor driver sorted out for the extruder and setting that up and also tightening the nozzle. There are good instructions in the manual. However, I just wanted to cover off on it just uh, for your reference. Okay, let's take a look at it now. Okay, so first thing we need to do is this max temp. Normally we will have it set to 285 for the Titan Aero, um, is what's recommended in their setup instructions. However, the maximum temperature you can actually set is 15 degrees less than that particular value. So because we need to actually get the hot end up to 285 degrees C, we need to set this to 300 uh, temporarily just to tighten up the hot end. So now that we've got that, we'll just do a build. job done so now I'll just do a reset okay that's now reset there before I forget I'm going to change this back to 285 for when we do the rebuild and set it back to normal so now if we bring up pronto phase we should be able to connect it is now connected and looks okay so what we want is M104 uh, S and we are going for 285. So I'll just set that. Instantly over here we can see I can set it to 285 as a set point. You can hear the fan increase on the power supply indicating there's a bit more current being drawn and we can see the actual temperature is starting to go up. It's up to um, 60. Okay, so the instructions say to uh, set the temperature to 285 and wait for a minute to allow everything to equalize in temperature. And then basically just tighten the nozzle while holding onto the heater block with a spanner. And what they're saying is they're looking for uh, three Newton meters of torque, which uh, I don't have a torque wrench that small. Uh, well, that'll go down to that low. My top wrench is for tightening up bolts on engine heads and things like that. However, what they say is three Newton meters is about as much pressure as you can apply with one finger on a small spanner. So that's what we'll try. Hold the okay, well, we're still looking all right there. So let's get in there. Let's see what damage we can do. Okay, well, that's pretty much as tight as I can easily get it with, gee, there's some heat pumped into that socket pretty quickly. Anyway, that seems to be it. So I'll turn that heater off. Actually, looking at the chart here, when I put the spanner in the socket there, you can see how much heat that took out of the hot end super quickly. Anyway, that's pretty much that. I'll just leave that for the moment. Just go back to here. As I said, I'd already set that back to 285. So we will do another build and load. Okay, so that's copied across. Now I'll just give it another reset. Okay, so I have put a driver on the board and we now have the extruder wired up onto it as well. 
So let's have a look at what we had to do in the code. Uh, there is one more thing that I should mention, which is uh, very important. I'm using a driver that just uses the normal jumpers to set the uh, micro stepping. And for that, I'm using extruder E0 here. And what I need is a just one jumper, so between the center and the black and remove all the other jumpers off here that would have been in place for the other driver type. So just left the one on here on MS2. The other thing is when you insert the driver in, just be careful, just take note of where the enable pin is and make sure it lines up with the enable pin here. Okay, so that's all there is really to getting the hardware installed anyway. Okay, so I have used a DRV8825 driver on that board. This was set as a A4988 before just to have something in there. Well, now I've actually changed that to DRV8825. Okay, so that's pretty much all I needed to do. One other thing I should mention, uh, if we scroll down here, uh, I mentioned in the earlier video that the doco said to set the uh, steps per millimeter to 837. I'd actually done that and I've already run through a little uh, test process and just uh, calibrated this. I found my uh, setting needed to be 812. So I've changed it in the firmware and I've actually uploaded that and done a reset so it's loaded permanently and also changed that in the EEPROM and saved it as well. So what I might do is just run through that process that I that I used just so that you know how to do it. The instructions in the tight and arrow information are not too bad however it's a little bit not misleading but it's a little bit confusing because you can't actually do what they say so I'll just show you an alternate way that I used uh, that seemed to work quite okay. Right, we need to connect the printer. So the printer is now online. To actually extrude material from it, we need to uh, get it up to temperature. So we'll just set the temperature. And I've just got it set at 190, just using a old roll of PLA that I had lying around. Uh, choose a light color, choose white or something like that that you can actually draw on uh, because you need to be able to measure the actual amount of filament that's been extruded. So that's important. So as that comes up to temperature, I'll just slip over to the printer and prepare um, the way I'm going to do it there. Okay, so what we need to do is figure out how much we're going to extract. So what I'm going to do is just mark 100 mil on here, just so that I can see it. And once we're up to temperature, uh, which we are now, I've got this set to extrude 100 millimeters. I'm just going to click on extrude. And we're now extruding. And basically, when this finishes, this measurement here, this mark here, should be right at the very top of the mark there. And if it's not, then obviously we need to change the steps per millimeter. And there's a formula uh, for doing that. Okay, so we're almost there. And there it stopped. And it's pretty well right on. Um, now, if it was different, then basically just take a measurement from
from uh, here to wherever that mark is and I'm lucky because I can actually see it in the tube here and mine had actually extruded more than it should have and I just measured with the steel rule from uh, the top of the um, tube to where the mark was. And the formula is basically uh, the current E step, so 837 in, in our case, times 100, which is what it should have done, divided by the distance it actually um, extruded. And mine came out at 812. And once I put that in using M92E812 and then M50 to save it to EEPROM, then I uh, just marked it again and tried it again and it came up perfectly okay. So I've set that in the firmware uh, permanent and that's what will be used from now on. So that's setting the extruder up and to be absolutely honest, there's uh, not a whole lot more um, to be said there. I'll catch you later. If you like what I'm doing, then please do like the video. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe and don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new. And I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.